We are gathered here on this autumnal equinox to inaugurate the world's largest zero carbon footprint building. At nearly a seventh of a million square feet, it is a shining example to the world that we can construct our cities out of buildings that do not add to global warming. Since we did this here in Silver Spring, Maryland, it can be done anywhere, and we have further proven that stopping global warming is practical and doable. Even our wonderful architects at Ewing Cole, and they, they are the best, Jared, Jason, the entire team, even they, as uh, Jared mentioned, were skeptical that this building could be done net zero. But we made it happen by using the subterranean earth as our heating and cooling battery. Beneath us are 50 wells, each dropping 500 feet underground, together with smart building technology and a megawatt of solar panels. But of course, it's not all these bits and pieces that really made it happen. What really made it happen was a religious respect for physics, a rigorous application of engineering, and an insistent value on being the change that we want to see. About a third of our newer employees are in their 20s and 30s. They don't want to live their lives or raise their families in a flooding world. They feel great pride working at a company, United Therapeutics, that is keeping the planet healthier while at the same time working our darndest to make our patients healthier. The Unisphere acts like a magnet in helping UT to keep retrain, retaining and attracting the best, brightest, and most caring biotechnology professionals. Ultimately, the lesson of the Unisphere is that the best way to be good at business is to do good at business. As Frank Lloyd Wright said, a building is not a place to be, a building is a way to be. And now I'd like to invite two Unitherians up to the stage for the ribbon cutting. Vice President Avi Halpert and Unisphere Project Leader Thomas Kaufman.